Uh, congratulations. Obviously, another a very, very impressive performance tonight. How did you feel uh, out there this evening? I felt sick, man. It was a, uh, it's a dream come true as well. But I can't wait to do it again, and I love it out here. It's badass. When we talked to you earlier in the week, you were still on the prelims. You got bumped up to the main car. Did that did that add anything to it? You know, like excitement or, or energy or whatever for you? I mean, there's always going to be a little bit. I was, you know, when I saw myself out there, and I was about to walk out, and then the the song came on, and I was like, "Damn, this is it. Let's go." You know what I mean? So, uh, no, I had a great time. What, whatever. If I'm fighting on early prelims, prelims, you know, UFC, another organization. This is the only organization in the business. But I'm just saying, like, whatever it is. Still gonna have the same amount of enthusiasm. I'm still gonna perform the best of my abilities, whether we get hit, whether we get rocked, whether we get corona, whether we, you know, get hurt, whether we get injuries, whether we lose our job, whether we, whatever happens, you know what I mean. Just still coming forward and bringing that enthusiasm to every day I get, because every uh, every moment and every breath of oxygen I take is an opportunity and a gift, and that's why I just I love this life, and I don't want to take it for granted. Immediately after, you know, you were kind of rattling off the things you could have done better. But overall, I mean, are you satisfied with that? I mean, it was a pretty dominant performance. Yeah, yeah. I used to get on myself about little things like that. Like, oh, I wanted to knock him out. But guess what? The dude get, did a good job blocking my kicks, and he went down, and we finished him. You know, I felt like I could have finished him in the first round if I took him down a little bit sooner, my coaches were saying as well. But uh, I respected his right hand. I know he had a lot of knockouts he's got 10 first round finishes and he's got that big heavy right hand and he hit me with one of them and I felt it a little bit and I was like okay so I didn't want to commit too hard on my punches you know I was gonna just sit in there at the beginning of the fight I came in I got in tight and I threw a couple shots and then I felt okay he's trying to take my head off and you know I knew that if he was going to beat me that's where it was gonna be so why give him the opportunity and then I got to work myself back up again just because my own stubbornness and ego got in the way. So I had to do what I had to do, mix it up on him. A flying knee barely missed a twister. I tried to get him in that twister. He scrambled out, and I got a good job of scrambling on top, put in that hook, flattened him out. And then right after that first round, I see how slow he was getting up. I'm like, damn, man, you never been through a, a one round, you know? So I could go for five rounds like that, and he wasn't, like, I wasn't tired at all. And I was like, okay, this guy's going to get finished in the next round. And I, I put it on him, and I finished him. I was going to ask you about the stoppage. I mean, you were clearly, like, he was stuck. He was trapped. But, I mean, he was covering up. But did you feel like, hey, yeah, that's, that's a good time to stop it? Yeah, yeah. I was him on the back of the ear, and I could hear him going, uh, uh, and he was stuck for about 30 seconds. And those elbows, I was going to rain a couple more down and why unnecessary strikes when he was already giving up. I felt him give up way before that. He gave up in the first round. Last thing for me, I mean, you've said it over and over. You love it here. You'd like to fight again ASAP. I mean, have you had any conversations with the bosses yet, the matchmakers, or, or what do you think the next? I am the boss, man. So whenever I decide to fight, no, for reals up, man. Like whenever they want me to fight, let's do this. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. You know what I mean? Why not? Well, I ain't got nothing else better to do. Go back home, put a mask on, stay in home, stay quarantined, or come to Fight Island, fight for the UFC. I mean, that's a no-brainer. So uh, I can't wait to do it again, guys. And then I love, I love all you guys. I love UFC. I love UFC. Paulo Costa. <laughs> nah, no, just kidding. Uh, Kyler right here. Uh, there's a few. Oh, what's up, dude? What's up, man? Uh, Tell Kara I say what's up. I already sent her a picture right here. Uh, there's, a, there's a few Bantamweight fights coming up in these next few cards. Are you going to stay ready just in case someone, like Thomas Almeida's opponent has fallen out already. Are you going to stay ready just in case they call you for a replacement? Do I look ready? I'd say so. There you go. So, so. Not for reals, yeah. Actually, yeah. I'm going to stay ready to the best of my abilities. Things happen. Just um, keep my weight low and keep training. And, you know, that whole quarantine thing, coming out here and doing the 48 hours over there, 48 hours here, it's a little bit of time, but it's worth it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go talk to somebody, see what I can do. Would you ask to stay here just in case rather yeah. than fly back and come home? Yes. That's what my original plan was. <laughs> And then at the end of the fight, it looked like you said something to him. I might have been in the heat of the moment. Do you remember what you told him after the referee pulled you off? Oh, man. Yeah, no, it was just the guy's cool, man. I really like Cameron Ellis. I talked to him after the weigh-ins yesterday. But, yeah, he tried to, he tried to punk me at weigh-ins yesterday, dude. You know, I, I was like, oh, I gave him a little fist bump. 
And he just got up in my face and took all my space. And I'm like, dude, we're fighting tomorrow. We're not fighting tonight. So I made sure, okay. And then, all right, you want to get my face? Now I was in his face. Like, what's up, man? What's up? I'm here now. Where's, where's that energy? Bring it back. But it's all fun and games. I gave him respect after. And um, I hope he comes back. And I hope he fights somebody and gets a dub in here. All right, guys. Thank you.